Yes, it was a very scary night for people here in Port Natchez and the surrounding areas. Lots of damage to businesses and homes. This is First United Methodist Church in Port Natchez, about two and a half miles away from the TPC plant, and the blast caused them to have at least 30 windows blown out. Now, I did speak to Reverend Curtis Mathis, says he was surprised at the damage this morning. He says he is thankful members of the church have been helping clean up all morning, even though that they have their own damage to deal with. They were up here at the church helping him. He knows it could have been way worse, though. I have I have no real knowledge. I don't know what goes on in that plant, but to, you know, to have that kind of percussion uh, that shook houses for miles uh, and to have no one seriously hurt, uh, I would say God was looking after him. Reverend Mathis says they have brought a disaster response team in to assess the damage. Other than the 30 windows or more than 30 windows, they believe they may have some structural damage to the building. But Reverend says they will be back worshiping here at the church on Sunday. Now, we'll keep you updated on social media. Follow our website on Facebook and our app. I'm going to send it back to you guys. All right. Thanks so much. The smoke has been thick.